All right, Netflix ends. I didn't even know they were still doing this. Netflix has ended Me their either. DVD mail service. This September, Netflix will be finally uh, ending its 25-year-old DVD mail service, which brought in $145.7 million in revenue last year. That's a lot more than I thought. Yeah. The DVD division had a dedicated fan base among users without consistent internet access, as well as those who preferred its broader selection of more obscure titles, many of which are not widely available on most or any streaming service. But the DVD division has slowly shrunk over time. It once boasted a selection of over 100,000 wow. titles, while now it's unclear exactly how many titles the Netflix streaming service carries, but its U.S. library carries around 6,000 titles, similar to what was carried by a single blockbuster video location at the chain's peak. Our discussion question, what should happen to Netflix's DVD collection, and what alternatives are there for people looking for unusual titles or low-cost physical media? Well, what should happen to their DVD collection? I, I, I really hope they don't just recycle them. That would suck. Maybe if they just left them surprised. with the last person who rented them? Like, I don't know. Like, on, honestly, like what I'd, I'd rather they not just keep, end up keep in the, the garbage. Keep the service going for a while, but you just don't have to return it anymore. Yeah, like that, that'd be kind of chill. That, that'd be super cool. That'd be pretty sweet. Um, for people looking for, oh man, what alternatives? Do I say it? <laughs> like, what do, you, uh, what do you want from me? If, if, if rights holders won't make their media available, at that point, I mean, that's down to your own personal moral compass, right? Like, you know, if you want to watch it, like, why is someone standing in your way? Why do you, why, why tolerate that? Privateering. I didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> it's becoming it more popular. Is, if it is available by legal means, of course, you know, you, it, it's, it's how creators are compensated. But if it is not available by legal means, it's not like you could compensate the creator by buying it yeah, if what, you can't buy it. What do you want from me, right? It it's uh it's very interesting to me that like honestly, three years ago, people didn't really talk about piracy that much. Oh yeah, it was kind of dead. Yeah. Spotify, Netflix, it's like yeah. uh you, Steam. You had pretty good solutions for everything. It was the golden age of not having to pirate content. And now like Nintendo's doing the things that Nintendo does. Well, yeah, that's classic. And stuff Nintendo. like this keeps happening, and people's cost of living is going up, and their wages are not matching it. And also, like this perfect storm is coming back for people to put the hats back on. It's really, it's it's interesting to me that the industry is like allowing this to happen, because and that like, they don't see what's happening. Yeah. Instead, it's like, oh well, we'll we'll just hike the rates. Yeah. Well, no, actually, that's not a response. Yeah. Um, I mean, Disney seems to be kind of waking up a little bit. Apparently, they are going to be loosening the restrictions that they've put on uh, licensing their own IP to third-party services oh. because they figured out what a gigantic hit to their bottom line it was. Like, Disney Plus, while it has generated like a hundred and however many million subscribers, is not a huge W for them compared to staying, too many services. staying focused on what they do best, which is apparently run theme parks these days. Um and creating content and licensing it to a wide variety of providers all over the world. Like it just, it's like, yeah, duh, we had a good thing. Everything was working. And now, yeah, guys, you, had, you had done goofed it up. I'm not going to subscribe to Disney Plus and Prime Video and Netflix and whatever HBO's thing is called now. What, what's it called? Just Max now? I, I can't even remember. I can't keep I track. Know. They keep changing it. All the different services. I can't even keep track of them. There are certain things that do make sense to me on a separate service. I don't want to pay for sports ball. I don't need it. I don't care. I don't have time to follow it. I shouldn't say I don't care. I actually do sort of peripherally pay attention to what's going on. Like I kind of know who's favorites to win the, you know, NBA Super Bowl or the, I'm kidding, uh, you know, or the, you know, Stanley Bowl or whatever. Like I, I, do, I, I do that. I, I do it on purpose. I do, I do kind of know who the major players are. Um, and most of that is just so that I can have conversations with people. It's like, oh, you know, LeBron's the all-time leading scorer now. Let's, we can talk about that a little bit and how that's super cool or whatever. But I, I don't have time to watch the game. So I don't want to pay for the broadcasting rights that whoever I'm giving money to has to pay in order to have cameras in the stadiums, right? Um, but if it's TV shows... Yeah, I, I, I can't. Yeah. I, I can't. Yep. 
people are upset. People are upset about my sports ball stuff. Formula football. Yeah, I like it. It's oh, good. no. Um, Someone doesn't like the thing that I like. Yeah, ah! this is hilarious. Sync plane on float plane. <laughs> Great username, I think. Um, didn't they change from HBO because it makes people think softcore porn when they hear it? What? Not necessarily that, but it apparently, yeah, they changed the branding because it makes people think of like very adult content. Oh. And they want to do more like it's it's Warner Media who owns them now, right? So that's where you're gonna get this new Harry Potter um television series that oh. frankly feels very unnecessary. I'm not even gonna wade into the controversy around the author. I want no part of any of that. But Isn't that media's whole thing right now is like resurrecting dead series and just making it bad? I mean, I guess. Like that that's a that's a pretty consistent trend. I'm not surprised it's happening. It's just, it's happening to everything. How, they, do we, how do we ruin this? But there's talks about remaking Princess Bride, if you want it to be more on the nose. Okay, hold on a second, though. Princess Bride came out in, like, 1984. Or 88? Whatever. It came, it's old. Yeah, it, it's old. It's at least old. Harry Potter's body isn't even cold yet. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> For real, though. The actor is, like, still... Like, young. Yeah. You know? acting it. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I, I, man, I just, I can't. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Twilight is apparently also getting a TV series. Yeah. You don't want to talk things that are unnecessary, but no, the thing about the Harry Potter one that feels particularly unnecessary is that they were good. They were already good. Twilight. I mean, at least you could make the argument that maybe they could make it better this time. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not though. Rough. Yeah. Yeah. 